Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about RAM when it comes to Minecraft servers, specifically how to add RAM to a Minecraft server. Now I am assuming you already have some sort of Minecraft server set up and you can check out how to make a Minecraft server at the eye at the top of your screen. That's going to go through everything you need to know in order to get a Minecraft server set up so you can add more RAM to it. Specifically that's our 1.15.2 tutorial but the process is pretty much the same for most Minecraft tutorials from like 1.12-ish. So um, yeah, go through that tutorial, get your Minecraft server set up and then once you do you can come back to this tutorial and I'll show you how to upgrade the RAM and add more RAM to it and all that stuff. Now First and foremost, this is from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get more RAM on your server very quickly and easily. As a matter of fact, if you have an Apex server, you want to increase RAM. All you have to do is contact their support, and they will increase the RAM for you and switch your plan out with a, you know, plan with more RAM. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. We actually have so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour Minecraft server that's DDoS protected for you and your friends to love and enjoy with as much RAM as you need for your server. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, you might be wondering, Nick, you're showing us how to add more RAM, yet you're looking at your face, right? This is not, it's not how tutorials work, okay? I need to be able to see what you're doing on the screen so I can learn how to add more RAM. And that's correct, but basically there's something we need to talk about first. And that is that there are three types of Minecraft servers. So there are servers that are hosted without a run.bat file, run.bat file. There are Minecraft servers that are hosted with a run.bat file. And then there are Minecraft servers that are hosted on somewhere like Apex Minecraft hosting. I'm going to be going through all three of those options and how to add more RAM to all of those options. But it is something that we need to understand before we get into this because it is, you know, all different depending on what you do. So nevertheless, let's go ahead, move onto the computer, and then we can get started. Here we are, we have jumped onto the computer and we have our Minecraft server set up here. Again, if you don't have one set up, there's a link in the description down below as well as the eye at the top of your screen. On how to make a Minecraft server, go there, get your Minecraft server set up. And then once you do, when you open your Minecraft server, it's going to look something like this, right? We have our server file here. Now this is a paper server. It's gonna work the exact same for a vanilla Minecraft server as it does a paper server when it comes to adding more RAM to it. So once you're in here, we want to add more RAM. Now, currently, if you want to start this Minecraft server, you would just double click on your jar file. In our case, it's paper.jar. For you, it might be Minecraft server.jar. It might be bucket.jar, spigot.jar, whatever it is. You want to click on that, and then it's going to open up something like this, right? It's going to be like a, you know, user interface. Now, the problem is, with this server, you can't add more RAM to it. It's not possible to add more RAM to this server. It's just going to kind of take what it needs, and usually that's no more than one to two gigabytes of RAM, and we're starting to max out already, right? Just loading up. We're starting to use a max amount of our RAM that's available. So what we want to do is stop this server. So once it's started up here, I'm going to stop it because we need to start this in a different way. We need to create what's called a run.bat file. Now, as I said, there are three types of Minecraft servers. One where you click on the .jar like this and it opens up this GUI interface. Ones that have a run.bat file and ones that are hosted on somewhere like Apex Minecraft hosting. So basically, if you have a server like this where you open up the user interface by double clicking on your jar file it's not going to be able to have more ram added to it right you need to create and turn it into a server with a run.bat file luckily anyone can do this any minecraft server can easily be converted all you have to do is add one file to your minecraft server folder here and that's it right that's all you got to do but if you are opening your server like this you can't add more stuff to it you can't add more ram specifically to it because i mean as you can see this server right here is maxing ram already I don't know why they do this, but it is one of those things. It's already maxing RAM. It's taking forever to load because of it, all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and just force quit this because, um, you know, let's get on with this tutorial. So I'm going to come in here and find this end task, and that's going to force quit that. It's not going to like it, but there we go. So now we need to turn this into a server with a run.bat file. To do that, you want to go to the description of this video, and we'll have this. This is a list of codes that you can use in a run.bat file, depending on how much RAM you want, right? Two gigabytes of RAM right here. So that's a two gigabyte server. It's a two gigabytes of RAM, three gigabytes of RAM, four gigabytes of RAM. And then if you want to add more than that, you can just copy this code and replace these numbers right here. As you can see, 4096 megabytes and 4096 megabytes. If you wanted to upgrade that to six gigabytes, for example, you would turn that into like 6200-ish on the RAM scale and you would have right there more RAM, right? You would add six gigabytes of RAM there. So you want to change however many, you know, six megabytes, six gigabytes of RAM is, you want to add that here. So 6,000 something megabytes there and 6,000 megabytes there, and that's going to give you more. But most people are going to need more than four gigabytes of RAM for a locally hosted server like this. So what we want to do is come to our server folder here, and first we want to find that .jar file. For double-clicking on that .jar file, we want to go ahead and 
you know, if that's what we're doing, we want to rename it. So we're going to right click on it, then click on rename. And I'm just going to name this server, right? Change this to server.jar there, right? Server.jar exactly like that. Now yours may not have .jar at the end of it. Yours have much, may have just been called Minecraft or paper, or it might be called server already. But if it doesn't have that .jar file next to it, what you want to do is come up here to the top and then click on view and then click on file name extensions. Yours will be like a blank box and it might just be like paper or server or whatever. And you wanna click on file name extensions. That way you can see the .jar and make sure it is server.jar. You don't wanna do server.jar.jar. That's not gonna work. It needs to be server.jar with file name extensions enabled. Once you've got that there, we can go ahead and rename that to server.jar there. So that is correct. That is exactly how it should look on your screen. You should be able to see .yml and JSON and all of this stuff here as well, .json files and all that. And if you do, you are good to go. Now we can right click in here. We want to create a new text document. And then we don't have to name that anything. Just name it new text document. Then open up the new text document you created. Now what we want to do is go to the description of this video and copy the code we want, right? So from where it says Java to where it says pause, you want to copy that from the description and paste it in here. And it should be the exact same thing. It should start with Java, end with pause, exactly like that. Then it should say server.jar in here, right? And it should also say server.jar on your jar file over there. If it does, we can go ahead and click on file on this document, click on save as. And then what we want to do is save this for the file name as run.bat, right? Run.bat. See, I said there were two or three different types of servers. Ones that didn't have a run.bat, ones that did, and then servers hosted on a hosting service like Apex Minecraft hosting. So now we're making this a server with a run.bat file. So once we've got this here, file name is going to be run.bat, and then save type as is going to be all files. Then click on save. Now we can close out of this document back here, and in here you will see this, a run.bat file, right like so. I'm going to delete this new text document we created, but only do that once you have the run.bat file. Now, at this point, if I double click on this, it's actually going to start our server up. You're going to see it loading and everything. But most importantly, we're going to be able to see up here that it does recognize the amount of RAM we have. So right there it is. It's recognizing that we do have the amount of RAM. Four gigabytes of RAM there is recognized, and that's what it's going to be starting with. So that is pretty cool. As you can see, preparing all the spawn regions, doing everything like that. It works for me. However, if you double click on that run.bat file and it doesn't work for you, no worries. All we need to do is go to the description down below and go to this link. This is our link for Java for Minecraft servers. As you can see, how to download and install Java for Minecraft servers. It's helped over a million people get Java set up for Minecraft, and it goes through everything you need to know to get Java and the correct version of Java for Minecraft. Now, once you do that, you should be able to double click on that run.bat file and it work. If it doesn't, you have the jar fix. And this is also in the description down below. Go down there and install the jar fix. And once you install this and run it, it will work perfectly fine. Be up and running and you'll be able to double click on that run.bat file unless you've added too much RAM for what your computer has. If your computer has six gigabytes of RAM and you add six gigabytes of RAM to your Minecraft server, it's not gonna work, right? So you need to make sure that that is the case and that you you know haven't added more RAM than is available for your server. But as you can see, this is what it looks like when it started up. It should say, you know, preparing spawn area 100%, time elapsed, whatever, and then it should say done. Once it says done there, you are done. That means it is set up, and now you know how to add more RAM to your Minecraft server. Now, if you had a run.bat file already, all you would need to do to, you know, change the amount of RAM you have is open up that run.bat file by right-clicking on it, clicking on edit, and then changing these numbers right here. So changing this, for example, to 3072 makes this have three gigabytes of RAM instead of four gigabytes of RAM, right? So we changed that to 3072, and now we have three gigabytes of RAM. Just click on File, Save, and now when we double click the run.bat file, up here at the top, you can see it now is recognizing three gigabytes of RAM there, or 3,000 megabytes of RAM, instead of the four gigabytes that we have before, because we just lowered it, right? So you need a run.bat file in order to start a Minecraft server and increase the RAM on that Minecraft server. So there you have it. That is how you can add more RAM to a Minecraft server. Now, if you have a server through someone like Apex Minecraft Hosting, right? If, if you have a server from someone like Apex Minecraft Hosting, you're going to need to contact that hosting company. Now, Apex is who we use. We love them. Their link is in the description down below. They're sponsoring this video. We love Apex. And... 
At Apex, all you need to do to add more RAM to your server is contact their support, and they're going to walk you through everything you do. They have 24-hour live chat support in the bottom right of their site at all times. So you can go there, and you can talk to them, and they will help you get your server upgraded as far as RAM goes. Not every host is like that. Some hosts, you might have to open up tickets and stuff like that. But with Apex, all you need to do is contact somebody on live chat support. They'll help you right away and get your server upgraded when it comes to RAM very quickly and very easily. So there you have it. That is how you can add more RAM to your Minecraft server. Speaking of Minecraft servers, we do have our own incredible Minecraft server with two great protected survival servers, a custom Skyblock server, and factions coming very, very soon. That server is play.breakdowncraft.com. You can check it out in the description down below. I can't wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.